This technique is the ultimate guide for a beautiful sculpted and highlighted finish for that lit from within look. This hack is an easy guide for beginners and I'll give you the tip you need to know for that extra lift which is perfect for mature faces. And because this technique adds dimension to your face as well as brightening your complexion, this will make your skin look instantly more youthful. In this video, I'm going to show you where to place your contour, blusher and highlighter using a makeup technique from Charlotte Tilbury. So if you're over 50 like me, you're probably looking for that makeup that gives you that beautiful, glowy, lit from within look, especially if you have tired, dry or dull looking skin. You may also be a little unsure as to where to place highlighter, contour and blusher so I'm going to show you a foolproof way so you can get it right every time. So first off, I'm going to give you an important tip for mature faces. What you do is imagine a straight line coming down from the outside corner of your eye. By keeping everything on this side of the line, it will create an optical lift. This guide is a quick three-step technique. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light and Contour Wands. The products mentioned in this video are detailed in the description below, along with some alternative products you can use instead. Now, I already have makeup on. That is my foundation, eye makeup, and lipstick. First up, I'm using the Deep Contour Wand to draw two lines on my forehead. I keep these lines high and more on the side for me as I don't have a deep forehead, so I don't want to shorten this area by using contour right along the top. Next, draw two lines on either side of the nose and then a little under the tip. Then apply the contour to the cheek area. This goes just under the cheekbone and I place it at an angle that lines up with the top part of my ear where my hairline is. Remember you imagine a straight line coming down from the outside corner of your eye when placing the contour. Next, the jawline, not all the way down. This is great for defining your jawline and helping to balance the shape of your face. Then take the Beauty Wand Light Highlighter. This is called Spotlight and draw under the contour lines on your forehead. Then right above the cheekbone, the bridge of the nose and the center of the chin. Now, I never put highlighter on the tip of my nose because if I do that, it's going to make the tip of my nose look more prominent and I don't want the tip of my nose to look more prominent. That is just me. If you do that, that's fine. This is just makeup after all. Now you may have areas of concern, like areas that have wrinkles that may bother you. In that case, just keep the highlighter a little lower away from areas that are bothering you because the highlighter may accentuate them. Lastly, take the blusher shade. I am using the Beauty Light Wand in color Peach Gasm and place three dots on the cheekbone. Does this look scary? Well, just keep this in mind because this is your basic guide for contour and highlighting. But here comes the magic. It's time to blend. Take your favorite blending brushes. I'm using two in this case. One is from It Cosmetics and the other one is from Hourglass. Start with your forehead, blending it up and back into your hairline in a swirling circular motion. Next, the cheeks, blend it back and up gently as you work to get that lift and then tap the product into the skin. Okay, onto the jaw, and this is just work back and forth and make sure you blend so there are no obvious lines. This is great for disguising jowls and sharpening up the jawline. Then the chin, just tap and blend that highlighter. And lastly, the nose, blend the highlighter first and then the contour. Now look at that incredible glow with a subtle contour and lift. Of course, you can add more blusher or contour if you want more of a dramatic effect, now you know where the placement should be. The only thing I need to add now is loose powder because clearly I am glowing like crazy. You will hear me say it a lot. I already have quite shiny skin on its own. The foundation I've used, which is Charlotte Tilbury, also hydrates the skin and adds a glow. And now I've added another level of glow. So I'm just going to pair that back a little bit because I don't want to go out looking like a disco ball. So I'm just adding a little bit of loose powder using a beauty sponge that has been dampened just to press that into my foundation. And the reason I love using loose powder is because it not only keeps my makeup in place, but it gives a more flawless 
finish. And also loose powder helps to prevent creasing. Now, sometimes I do add more blusher on top of this because I've already created the contour, the dimension on my face. I've got that gorgeous radiance, that lip from within glow, and I just need a little bit more color. So I'm going to use a very pretty blusher. Now, this is from Charlotte Tilbury, and just to add a little bit more color to my cheeks. What do you think? Would you try this technique? If you do and you love it, please let me know in comments. You can use this quick technique day or night because now you know where to place your contour, highlighter and blusher. And if you have a mature face and are looking for even more lift, check out my instant facelift video. You'll love it. The results are amazing and it is super easy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video with someone who will find it useful. I'll see you next time.